Hey guys, welcome back to today's video on my channel today. I have sitting here somebody that probably a lot of you guys recognize. If you don't, this is Mr. Ben Fuchs right here. He is the founder, creator of the Truth Treatments skincare brand and the line that we all absolutely love. So he is with us today. He's been on my channel before, but we're back today. Thank you. So yes. good to see you. And absolutely. you look absolutely stunning Thank as always. Thank you. And your skin is amazing as always. Thank you. <laughs> I know the secrets. I've been yeah. doing this a long time. Seriously. Yeah. I'm like, we were just talking about how old he is. I'm like, you cannot be 59. 59. 59. You, his skin in person, you guys, is insane. <laughs> you know, but I'm not special. I just know certain things and I've dedicated my life to sharing those mm -hmm. things. Not just topical skincare, you know. It's nutrition. It is spirituality. It's psychology, it's your thoughts, it's your emotions. Healing is a multi-dimensional, health is a multi-dimensional phenomena. Beauty is a multi-dimensional phenomena, and health is beauty and beauty is health. That's, that's really the most important message that I have, is that if you wanna be beautiful, if you want your skin to be beautiful, if you want your body to be beautiful, first, it's about health. Mm -hmm. The beauty follows the health. We've created this kind of artificial beauty that is choose health. So it allows us to kind of eat what we want, think how we, uh, not change our thoughts, live our lives in a certain kind of way, and then get Botox or Juvederm. Not that there's anything wrong with fillers and with uh, Botox and that kind of thing, but really when we look at each other and we're assessing each other's uh, beauty, and that's really what it's about, we're assessing each other, but what we're, what we're assessing is the health of the tissue. And that's really what this is about. Mm -hmm. The reason why uh, true treatments are minimalist, they don't have a lot of ingredients, all the ingredients are analogous to things that are in your skin or are literally things that are in your skin, is because I'm trying to address the health of the organ called the skin. We always say the skin is the body's largest organ. But we don't treat yeah. it like an organ. People don't think of it like we that. We don't think, because yeah. you know, when you look, it doesn't really look like an organ. Mm -hmm. You know, when you think of an organ, you think of the heart, you think of the liver, you think yep. of the spleen, you think of throbbing and gooey mm -hmm. and bloody. You don't want, really want to see an organ, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly, no. <laughs> but the skin doesn't have that quality. The skin is sort of, I, I sometimes wonder what non-scientists or non technical people think of when they think of the skin. Mm -hmm. It really doesn't look like much and because it doesn't look like an organ and also because we don't recognize there's a depth to the skin. I mean, this thing has a depth to it. It doesn't look like it does, but it does, about maybe 10 pieces of notebook paper thick. If we really, if we really practice the, uh, uh, apply the belief that the skin is an organ, we would never just slather stuff on the skin. Yeah. We would never put things on that we didn't know what the ingredients were. I know, which were. is really funny. Like, would you put like chemicals and stuff on your heart and you're like, oh, let's just, you exactly. know, you want to do that. Exactly, that's yeah. exactly what I say. Yeah. Would you rub something on your mm. heart and not know what your heart, or, right. or not know what you were putting on your heart? Right. But because the skin is resilient, it's forgiving, it heals very rapidly. We just are oblivious to the fact that the skin is a, a, a part, it's, it's a, a integral part of the body the way any other organ is a part of the body. And that's yeah. why I, all true treatments feature nutrition, vitamin C or vitamin E or vitamin A, retinol, alpha hydroxy acids, things that are either nutritional for the skin or somehow going to stimulate the skin or somehow going to mimic a biochemical process that's already occurring mm -hmm. in the skin. I'm a lover of the skin, mm -hmm. right? And I mean that from a biochemical standpoint. To me, the skin is the most phenomenal system. The fact that it, it heals so rapidly and it grows so rapidly is just, not only is it an amazing feature, but it's something that we can leverage so that if you have acne today, you don't have to have it next week mm -hmm. or four to eight weeks. The skin turn turnover time is four to eight weeks, mm -hmm. right? So whatever your skin condition is now, four to eight weeks from now, you can have a dramatically you different condition. You can change condition. it, yeah. Exactly, because it's so malleable, it's so flexible, mm -hmm. but you gotta know what you're doing because of course the definition of insanity is what? Keep doing the same thing over and, and over. And expecting yep. different results. Yep. So you got to change what you're doing. Not just change your brand, but change the concept. When I talk on, on your show, on my radio show, when I do my presentations, I'm not so much selling a product as I am a concept, a brain, uh, uh, an idea, information, yeah. strategies that you can use to kind of help your skin change. First, by understanding the skin, and then by understanding how you can leverage what's happening in the skin. This exactly. is why stimulation is so important. You know, we go to the gym, right? We don't, we don't even think twice about the fact that we know we have to exercise mm -hmm. if we want to be strong. Well, guess what? Your skin has to be exercised as well. We know that we have to come home and do our supplements. We have to make sure we're eating right when we come home from the gym, if mm -hmm. we're really going to take advantage of the weights. 
Same with the skin. Yeah. After you use something stimulating on the skin, if you want to get the benefit of that stimulation, you got to put something topically on your skin that is going to sustain and, and, and protect and help that stimulation do its business, do its stimulating business. Yep. That's why you always take your nutrients when you come home from the gym. That's why I was, you always use your vitamin C and your vitamin A and your other yep. uh, topical nutrients after you stimulate the skin. Yeah. I was a bodybuilder and a weightlifter before I was a skincare professional. Yeah. So I got into the, when I got into the skincare world, I was thinking, well, I, I lift weights and I know that there's a certain strategy that I have to apply if I want to be anabolic. Mm -hmm. It's called an anabolism. If I want to build tissue, how about if we apply those concepts to the skin? And that's how I really started to get into understanding that there's ways that you can grow tissue. Yeah. There's ways that you can grow skin. You know, all these products and the, all these concepts really were born in my wound healing pharmacy. I don't know if I ever tell you this. Yeah. That I had a wound healing pharmacy. Mm -hmm. So I was leveraging these concepts that I learned in bodybuilding and in weightlifting to heal wounds. Mm -hmm. And when I saw that people would come back with more beautiful skin, I was like, hmm, we got right. something here. The yeah. same mechanisms that are healing wounds are making wrinkles go away. Are making the it's all about like healing and healthy all skin about and, healing. Yeah. It's all about growing. Yeah. It's, it's anabolism. Yeah. You know, it's building. That's mm -hmm. really what this is about. This is an anabolic true treatments are an anabolic system for the skin. They're a building system for the skin. So that when you say my skin looks good, it's because I've been building tissue yeah. for since I was in my twenties. That's yeah. when I started formulating skincare products. Right. Beautiful skin is not just about topical products. Mm -hmm. Yes, I sell topical products and I also and I formulate them and I also sell supplements and I formulate them, but health, healing, wellness, beauty. It's multidimensional. Spiritual, yeah. I call it SMEP. Spiritual, mental, emotional, physical. Mm -hmm. It's a hundred percent true. So, what do you want to talk about? Do you want to talk about? Um, um it's lots. Oh lots my God. There's lots of things about. I want to talk about. Let's talk about retinol. Okay. One so of my all-time favorite. Yes. Um, all-time favorite. Vitamin A. Movies. Vitamin A. Yep. That's okay. right. Do you know retinol is vitamin A? Mm -hmm. But active vitamin A is not retinol. Mm -hmm. Active vitamin A is retinoic acid. Right. That was that was the uh, the great. Uh, uh, sea change in the world of cosmetics was the fact that we could actually use active vitamin A topically to change the interior, the inside texture, inside quality of the skin. Mm -hmm. That was radical. Today we have alpha hydroxy acids and we've got a few other products that can do that. But when al when our retinoic acid first came out in the 1960s, it was revolutionary right. because for the first time you could actually apply a topical product or a topical ingredient or a topical product to the skin and not just prevent wrinkles literally reverse that. Yeah. Vitamin A, uh, retinol is vitamin A, and then in the skin it's converted into retinoic acid, and retinoic acid is the active form of vitamin A. Uh, is a retinoic acid is a signaling molecule. You know, cells are located deep inside the skin, way underneath. It doesn't look like, like I said, there's, it doesn't look like there's depth, mm -hmm. but relatively speaking, the cells are located deep. And this is the key to anti-aging, topical anti-aging. Really, any anti-aging is the key to health. You gotta be at the cell. Most of our skincare does not address the cell. No. Exactly. It literally lays on the surface of it your skin. Exactly. Yeah. So if you want to have beautiful skin, you got to somehow figure out a way to get to the cell. Now the cell is intelligent. Mm. It reads. Yeah. See, the cell is sitting in a soup and it's reading the soup yeah. for better or worse. And to simplify, the cell is either doing one of two things after it reads the soup. It's either going to sleep or it's waking up. Mm -hmm. When the soup is toxic, when the soup is missing nutrients, when the soup doesn't have enough oxygen, the cell says, okay, I'm gonna go to sleep now. So if we wanna wake the cell up, if we wanna have the cell make collagen, divide, uh, secrete moisture factors, make hyaluronic acid. Remember, this is all the stuff we want to have beautiful skin. We've gotta send signals to that soup that the cell is sitting in, because it's reading the soup. So we gotta send signals to the soup that say, hey, it's, there's plenty of abundant resources. You can grow. Life is good. It's summertime mm -hmm. and everything is happy and it's time to make collagen. Like, and wake up. <laughs> wake up, yes. Yeah. So now most of these, these are called signaling molecules, by the way. These signaling molecules are the molecules that are in the soup yeah. that tell us how to wake up. Right. Most of these signaling molecules are delivered through the blood. This is why you have to eat. Mm -hmm. This is why you have to eat well. Mm -hmm. This is why you take your supplements because you take your vitamin C, you eat your asparagus and your broccoli and your good foods and the nutrients make their way into the blood uh, through the digestive system, they make their way into the blood and then from the blood, they're delivered into the soup oh, that the cell is sitting okay, in. Okay, yeah. And for better or worse, what is in those uh, was it was in the foods and and then in the blood and then in the soup will tell the cell to go to sleep or wake up. Oh. So if you want, so if you eat McDonald's, it's like I'm going to sleep. sleep. 
<laughs> exactly. Yeah. The nutrients or the lack of nutrients right. or the toxins that are in the blood come, or, or in the soup from the blood, from the digestive system, from the food, right. the cell says, I'm going to sleep. Oh, I don't want to see this stuff. Right. I don't have enough. I'm going to go to sleep. So if you want to be anti-aged, if you want to be healed, if you want to be beautiful, if you want to be young, you got to get the cells, the signaling molecules yeah. that say, wake up, let's go. That's why you eat good food. But what's really cool about retinoic acid and about the skin is there's a couple of signaling molecules mm -hmm. that you can put on top of your skin mm -hmm. that will make their way to the cell from the outside in. Right. That's amazing. Right. That's amazing. There's, but there's not a lot. Right. There's only a few. Retinoic acid is one of them. Mm -hmm. Retinoic acid is a signaling molecule that you can put on top of your skin that will make its way down into the lower levels to the soup <laughs> that the cell is sitting in and the soup will say, hey, vitamin A, it's summertime on the African savanna. I can make <laughs> collagen. I can make hyaluronic acid. So yeah. you can hack into the communication system topically. The communication system is ordinarily coming in through the digestive system in the blood, and that's how it's getting into the soup. Right. But you can do it topically with retinoic acid. Now, retinoic acid has some problems. First of all, it's a prescription. Mm -hmm. So you've got to get a prescription for it. Um, secondly, retinoic acid, because it's a signaling molecule, the cell, even if it's not ready, you're, you're kind of faking the cell out. Mm -hmm. Because the cell, even if, usually when vitamin A comes into the body, it comes in through, through uh, uh, animals, through buffalo mm -hmm. or... or uh, a deer or whatever whatever we were hunting and eating right right that's how the vitamin a is supposed to get in but we're hacking into the system if we got the vitamin a through the digestive system we'd have the protein with it we'd have the vitamin other vitamins with it we'd have the minerals with it so if you put retinoic acid straight on the skin you can put the system into overdrive. It's overloaded, yes, yeah. Yes, it's overloaded and it doesn't have the cofactors, which is why yeah. you don't want to just use retinoic acid on, on unhealthy skin. Mm -hmm. In fact, you don't want to use anything stimulating on the skin mm -hmm. if the skin is not healthy. And this is where it gets a bad rap. Mm -hmm. If we try to drive the skin cell with topical retinoic acid, but we don't have the other nutrients present, particularly fatty nutrients like essential fatty acids, the skin can't handle it. The cells yeah. will try to, get, to rev themselves up and they'll start to move and they'll start to become dynamic and active. But if there's not the cofactors in there, you can run into irritation and inflammation and okay, a right. lot of the things that people say they have problems with. Now, the, what I like using, now I saw the benefits of retinoic acid in my pharmacy, but the problem is the prescription and it's a little aggressive. So retinol is true vitamin A. Mm -hmm. Retinoic acid is active vitamin A. Retinoic acid is true vitamin A. Okay. In the skin, retinol, true vitamin A, gets converted into retinoic acid. Right. What makes retinol beautiful, and why I love it so much, is number one, it's over the counter, so you don't have to interact with the doctor and the pharmacy, insurance company, all that stuff. But number two, retinol is a hundred times weaker mm -hmm. than retinoic acid, mm -hmm. so that in order to, for the uh, retinol to have its effect, it has to get converted into retinoic acid. And there's some, there's some uh, enzymatic reactions and chemistry reactions that have to happen, have to go right. So it's not quite as potent mm -hmm. as retinoic acid. It gives right. the skin an opportunity to say, no, nah, I'm not going to activate now. Right. I'm, we're not going to make the enzymes necessary to make retinoic acid. We're not prepared to go. We don't have the cofactors. It gives the skin an opportunity or the cell an opportunity to say yay or nay. Mm -hmm. With retinoic acid, boom, you got the signaling molecule there. It's going. Yeah. With retinol, the skin has an opportunity. Okay, so we're not going to make enzymes. That way we won't have that much effect. Or we're, we're just going to slow so down does, the chemistry So does conversion. it just take in what it, what it needs, it takes right? It in more right. what it needs. It right. utilizes more what right. it needs. So it gives the skin a, a sort of... Uh, opportunity to say no. It gives it an option, if mm -hmm. you will. Retinol acid doesn't give the skin an option. Yeah. Retinol does give the skin an option. Okay. So I wanted to give my patients the same benefits of retinoic acid without the without the uh, uh, doc, uh, interacting with the medical model and without the irritation or the inflammation. Mm -hmm. That's why I use retinol. Mm -hmm. But I wanted it to have the same retinoid or vitamin A potency as retinoic acid, which is why I made the 5%. Right. 5% has the same potency as 0.05% retin A mm -hmm. or retinoic acid. 1% okay. has the same potency as 0.01%. Oh, okay. multi multiply right. that by 100. But because I wanted people to have the cofactors, I took all the stuff that's in Retin-A, like the polyoxyl 40 stearate and the butylated hydroxytoluene. All the stuff the, you don't need. All the stuff I didn't want, yeah. right? And I replaced it with 25% vitamin C. So now you, you get, get the you, vitamin A, vitamin C, which exactly, they, work they work so good exactly. together. Exactly. And oh that's, my a, God. that's an important point because yeah. I get this question all the oh time. Oh my God, same here. Do you get this question? Yes. You, you should can't you, put those together. Exactly. You can't. I'm Who like, is really? telling people this? You should. And if you try it, you'll see why. <laughs> I think they're thinking about ascorbic acid, yeah. which I have a big problem with ascorbic acid, mm -hmm. topically, that mm -hmm. is. And I've always 
always had a big problem with ascorbic acid because as a pharmacist, one of the first things we learn about is this process called oxidation, right? Mm -hmm. Oxidation is the reaction that oxygen has with things, which we know in a macroscopic scale is burning. Burning is the classic example of oxidation, but yeah. oxidation occurs at the molecular level as well as it occurs in the big level, and molecules oxidize. Mm -hmm. When a molecule is oxidized, it's essentially burnt. Yeah. And so vitamin C burns readily when it's in the presence of oxygen. Right. But because it's water soluble, it's always in the presence of oxygen, H2O. Mm, right. So vitamin C doesn't exist independent of H2O. Right. It exists with H2O, so it's very prone towards oxidation, particularly in skincare formulations. Yeah. So I use fatty vitamin C. Fatty vitamin C is a little, it's a, a little bit hard to find, and it's a lot more expensive, yeah. but it's stable. And it's yeah. moisturizing. Completely and stable. It's, completely years. Oh, it's decades. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I don't even have to preserve my transdermal yeah. system. My tra I don't have to put any artificial preservatives in it because it's that it's stable. So stable. Exactly. Yeah. So I took the I took all the you know BHT and polyoxyphorosterate and propylene glycol and all the stuff that's in Retin A. Took it out. Changed the retinoic acid to retinol. Multiplied it out by 100. Replaced all that stuff with 25% vitamin C. Put it in my transdermal delivery matrix. Yep. Delivers it right down to the to the cell. Now, and that combination, like I said, of how you did that with the vitamin A, vitamin C combined, it's correct. just it's amazing. Well, you it's, know, it's what your skin needs. It's it, you know it is amazing. I yeah. agree with you, but it's so simple. Yeah. You know, sometimes the simplest things yeah. are the most amazing. That's yeah. why my you'll only see five, six, seven, eight ingredients. Yeah. In a very small ingredient tax. One of one of the things being a chemist and a skincare chemist, especially or a cosmetic chemist, if you will. Uh, I can kind of read an ingredient deck and know if that company understands what's happening. Right? You if can you, totally, yeah. If I see a long ingredient deck with like 80 ingredients totally. on it, and seven, then like the good ingredients are like at the very right bo at the bottom. It's like, no. <laughs> right. If I see vegetable oil yeah. in a skincare product, I know that there's a problem. It's unfortunate because there's so much you could do with topical skincare. Mm -hmm. But we have created a skincare model almost accidentally. Today it's not an accident, but it started off accidentally. Uh, that doesn't really leverage the power that you can have over the skin through topical strategies. Yeah. Now, you know I work for Blistex and I started. Mm -hmm. and so I was trained in the idea of how we can leverage topical strategies, topical ingredients, topical delivery systems, topical products to take advantage of chemical reactions that have that are happening in the skin. To do that, however, you got to know what, you got to understand cell chemistry, you got to understand biochemistry, mm -hmm. you got to understand skin chemistry and physiology, you got to understand active ingredients. There's a whole bunch of skill sets that come mm -hmm. into play. Cosmetic chemistry is about making white creams. Mm -hmm. It's not about creating changes in the skin. Right, exactly. So and that's what over the counter skincare that's is. That's what just, over the counter just, skincare it's is. It's just like yes. making it, your skin feel, oh, it's like exactly. soft. It's not doing Who anything. Who is it that studies activity? What, what health specialty studies activity, studies ingredients, studies how to change the body with ingredients? Mm -hmm. so who, what health professional or health specialty studies how to change uh, biochemical reactions in the body, topical and internal, by using ingredients? The pharmacist. Yeah. That's right. what we study in pharmacy school. We study active ingredients. You know, I get a kick out, and I don't want to rip on any of my friends who are physicians. I have a lot of friends who are physicians. And I'm always saying to them, you know, physicians are about diagnosis. Why are you making a skincare product? Mm -hmm. The yeah. pharmacist is yeah. the guy who should be making the skincare product because we're studying the active ingredients. We're studying how to change the body, how to change chemo chemical reactions or biochemistry in the body mm -hmm. by using active ingredients. Mm -hmm. Drugs yeah. are active ingredients. I study, I, I never liked drugs. I always had a problem with drugs because in pharmacy school, we spend a lot of time studying toxicity. Mm -hmm. Studying side effects, studying adverse reactions, studying how you mitigate adverse reactions and toxicity and side effects. And as a young pharmacy student, I was thinking to myself, why? I'm just, I want to help people. <laughs> <laughs> why am I studying all this poison stuff? Yeah. Why am I giving them poison? Yeah. But at the same time, I was also an athlete and a bodybuilder and a, and a weightlifter. And I knew that if I wanted to be strong, it wasn't prescription drugs that I was taking, it was vitamin C that I was using, it was protein that I was using, it was nutrition that I was using. Then on top of that, this is a, a little known feature, a little known aspect of pharmacy school, is in pharmacy school we study nutrition. But we don't study nutrition like a dietitian studies it or like a nutritionist studies it or a, or a chef or a doctor studies it. We study nutrition like a pharmacist, which means 
we study the medicinal and healing and therapeutic properties of nutrients. We study how vitamin A cures night blindness. We study how essential fatty acids cure dry skin. We study how deficiencies in essential fatty acids can lead to eczema. We study how vitamin C deficiencies in vitamin C can cause blood problems and circulatory problems and heart disease. So on the one hand, I'm getting this background in the tox toxicity and the poisonous nature of drugs. And then on the other hand, I'm getting a, a, a primer, a, a, a background, a, 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 a study in how nutrients can be used to heal the body. So I'm thinking, mm -hmm. well, gosh, why, <laughs> why don't I start using nutrients yeah. to heal? Why don't we start prescribing nutrients? Then when I got into skincare, I just put one and one together and I was like, well, if vitamin C is important for building cardiac tissue and it's important for supporting blood vessel health and it's a, a d vitamin C deficiency, check this out, vitamin C deficiency disease causes wrinkles, causes osteoporosis, yeah. causes heart disease, causes gum disease, causes the body to shrivel up, it causes joint problems, they call it the disease scurvy, you probably mm -hmm. heard the disease scurvy, but subclinical scurvy is aging. Mm -hmm. Wrinkles yeah. are a sign of subclinical scurvy. Not scurvy bad enough for you to drop dead and scurvy will kill you. Right. Obviously, it's a horrible, horrible disease. But subclinical, meaning it's not quite bad enough yet for you to die or go to the doctor, go to the clinic, go to the hospital, causes all the things that we that are so distressing to us about aging, from bones getting weak and osteoporosis, to joints shriveling up, to arthritis and back pain, to wrinkles. wrinkles. <laughs> Just a, it was a short leap for me, and so that's, yeah. what, that's what, why I created all of these topical, they're essentially topical nutritional supplements. That's exactly, yeah. Exactly. Vitamin C, vitamin C, to me, the three most important ingredients for the skin, vitamin C, vitamin A in its retinol or retinoic acid form, if you, if mm -hmm. you desire that one, and uh, three alpha hydroxy acids, mm -hmm. which are another mm -hmm. highly underappreciated active yeah. ingredient, largely because we don't understand how to use alpha hydroxy acids the same way we don't understand how to use retinoids, exactly. same way we don't know how to use vitamin C. Alpha hydroxy acids are a little mysterious. You know, when an alpha hydroxy acid, this is really cool, when an alpha hydroxy acid goes on top of your skin, it releases it's positive charges. Uh, everything has pos everything's positive charge, negative charges. The positive charges in an alpha hydroxy acid are what we call acid. Positive charges are uh, in chemistry and biochemistry. You could think of them as, as H, pH. Mm -hmm. So when you say pH, you're really talking about positive charges. We also know this as acid. So acid has a bad reputation. Have you ever heard you want to have your inside of your body alkaline? Right. Right. Because right. acid is bad. Cancer feeds out. Exactly. Cancer is an acid feeder, et cetera. Yep. Acid is like a switch that turns things on. If you try to turn things on with an acid without having something to, to, uh, to balance out that acid, mm -hmm. you're not going to get the benefits of the acid and you're going to actually cause problems. Mm -hmm. This is where stress, this is where acid, this is where positive charges have a, get a bad rap. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean you want to avoid them. That means you want to use them, but you want to figure out how to balance out those acids or those positive charges. Mm -hmm. Well, what balances out positive charges? Negative, right. right? I mean, this is not, you don't have to be scientists here. A lot of this is common sense. Mm -hmm. So a positive charge is stressful. It turns things on. It makes things happen, but it has to have a negative charge. Mm -hmm. When you lift weights, right? You lift weights. If you want to be really strong, you lift weights until you feel the... The burn. burn. <laughs> yeah. What is the burn? Yeah. The burn is positive charges. Okay. The burn is acid. Specific. Right, exactly, yeah. yeah. Whenever you hear acid, think positive charges. Mm -hmm. That's what makes an acid an acid is positive charges. The more positive charges it is, the lower the pH. Okay. So lactic acid is positive charges. Mm -hmm. So that's where you feel a burn. That's great. But if you don't come home and do what? You're not going to get the benefit of that burn. Mm -hmm. What do you have to do? Supplement, eat correct, all that. What yeah. is it that's in the supplement that is that is important for the uh, the acids that you're putting in? It's something that's balancing out the acids. Mm. It's negative charges. Mm. Food is important because it's negative charges. Yeah. Supplements like vitamin C are right. important because they help the body utilize negative charges. So you get the positive charges from the weightlifting. So you get the isn't that cool? Yeah. That cool? So check so this out. You know what we call negative charges? No. no, I know you don't. I don't know. You're not a scientist, right? <laughs> okay. No, it's a negative so, charge. Sorry about the rhetorical question. <laughs> sorry about the question. Right. So we call them electrons. Okay. Electrons are negative charges. In fact, you've heard, you've, I, I'm talking about negative charges now, and it sounds kind of weird, even though it might sound like logical, it sounds a little weird, but you've heard of negative charges because, mm -hmm. or you've related to negative charges because when you go out after it rains, doesn't it smell really good? Mm -hmm. Doesn't it feel right. really good? Mm -hmm. Just feels wonderful, right? You know what that is that you're smelling and feeling? Negative charges. Electrons. Oh, yeah. You've mm -hmm. heard of the term negative ions? Mm -hmm. That's what negative ions are. Okay. If you go to the hospital, they have these boxes 
that they'll put in certain rooms that generate negative ions. Okay. They're called negative ion generators. Why? Because we're so toxic, we're so stressed out, we got so many poisons in our environment, we're producing so much positive charges that the negative charges can neutralize, can balance out the positive oh, charges. Oh, that's interesting, yeah. Heavy metals, parasites, toxins of all kinds, they're positive charges. Mm -hmm. Anything you could do to put electrons into the system, negative charges into the system, will help the body utilize and work with the positive charges. Mm -hmm. The positive charges represent a stressor on the system. A stressor without a negative charge to balance it out doesn't give you the benefits of the stress. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, when a negative charge hits a positive charge, guess what happens? Lightning. Lightning in the sky, mm -hmm. you know what that is? Mm -hmm. That's positive charges and negative charges hitting each other. Okay. So when you put a positive charge in the skin in the form of lactic acid or glycolic acid or malic acid or tartaric right. acid, and you follow it up with electrons, mm -hmm. you get lightning inside a cell or in the soup of which mm -hmm. a cell is surrounded in. Yeah. That lightning wakes the cell up. And that's, okay, why, that's, yeah. that's why I created my HA Energizing Exfoliator. Right. Mm -hmm. It's neg And I call it energizing. It's not a made up marketing word. None of what we're doing here is made up marketing. It's all science, it's all logic. We call this an energizing exfoliator because it's energizing. It has negative charges from acids and, I'm sorry, it has positive charges from acids and electrons or negative charges from Minerals. Okay. That's right. what the minerals do. Okay. The minerals deliver electrical charges to neutralize or balance the positive charges. That's why the bases of all my liquid products are minerals. Right. They're delivering electrons to the skin. We're, at the end of the day, we are electrical. We're not chemical. We're electrical. The chemical works, the chemistry works, because it carries or sustains or channels or directs the electricity. But at the end of the day, when we're sick, we're electrically sick. Mm -hmm. When we're healthy, we're electrically healthy. And the more organized electrons you can put into your body, the healthier you'll be, the younger you'll stay, mm -hmm. and the more beautiful your skin would look. Two ways to buy a skincare product. You can trust the lady at the counter, you know, or the advertisement, or somebody told you on the on the commercial. Right. Or you can understand the nature of how and you build a skin, how exactly, you build a product. Exactly. That's the thing. I, to me, the most important thing I do is not create products. It's share information. Mm -hmm. Products. When people hear the information, they're going to buy the truth. But to me, my my goal in life is to help people understand their skins and understand their bodies at the most powerful levels. Chemistry is a very powerful level, mm -hmm. but physics quantum, the positive charges and the negative charges, knowing that how important it is to walk barefoot or go to yep. the beach or knowing how important it is to put acid, acidic substances on the skin. Once you understand these these basic building block concepts, you can have leverage over how your skin shows up. Right, exactly. And then it's it's powerful because then you can, you know, be a better consumer and spend your money on stuff small... that's actually working, you yeah. know, and, and not just listening to some salesperson that's like, you know, pushing Why do we have, whatever. why do people have 12 different moisturizers in the right? medicine yeah. cabinet? My goal is that you be the authority. Mm -hmm. I want everybody to be the, their own personal be health to, authority, to make their own decisions. Figure exactly. it out, yeah. Understand the basic building blocks, how the whole thing is put together. Mm -hmm. Understand what positive charges, negative charges, vitamin C, retinol, ingredient chemistry, application chemistry, how you apply a product, right. all of these things. Because we were talking about that too. It's all on listening to your skin and how you know how you apply products. Because if exactly. you are too aggressive, then you're going to think, oh, this is too much for my skin. Like you have yes. to listen to your skin yes. and you have to be aware. Yes, it's, an art, in, in, it's kind of an art form. Yeah. In a way, there's a subtlety. The more, the more uh, nuance that you can work with, the more you can play. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't wear makeup, but you are, mm -hmm. you obviously are a great makeup artist, yeah. right? So you know there's just like a shade here, yep. a shade there, there's a little tint. I don't know how you do it. I don't know what kind of magic <laughs> you're, you're working there, but I know there is yeah. a way to do it, right? Yeah. And it's the same thing with skincare. Mm -hmm. I use a little bit more retinol today, I'll use a little bit more alpha hydroxy acid this morning, I'll use a little more vitamin you C. You have to just take listen a day to off. your skin. You have to listen know your to your skin. So important. Yes, listen so to our important. bodies. Yeah. Our bodies. I think we talked. We probably talked. We about did. This, it'll always talk to you. Yeah. Right? It'll always tell you. What, it'll tell you to yeah. turn left. Yeah. It'll tell you to turn right. The still small voice they call. Yeah, it. it's um, true. Which right? you taught me that. Which is. Do you really, hear it now? Yeah, like, and 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 it really makes you aware of certain things of what you're eating. Even if you don't if listen. Like, even if you don't listen, mm -hmm. at least know it's there. Mm -hmm. You know, because sometimes it takes us a while. We're kind of dumb as a species. Mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> so sometimes we have to really mess up. But yeah. the, the body will tell you, hey, I didn't like that. Yeah. You know, don't do that to me. Again. Yeah, exactly. You know? So you gotta, you want to be responsive. Mm -hmm. You want to listen to the body. Mm -hmm. You got to participate in it. When it comes to our skin, if it's red or irritating, you back off. Yeah. If it's you're not getting the results you want from an active ingredient, try using a little more active mm -hmm. ingredient. If you're not getting the results you want from a product, use a different mm -hmm. product. Understand how things move, how cells move, how collagen grows. You don't have to be as 
you know, you don't have to be a scientist. You don't have to, it's, but it's not rocket mm -hmm. science. It's really not all that complicated. Yeah. Stimulate your skin periodically, like you take your skin to the gym, like you take your body to the gym, and make sure you're using topical nutrients, vitamin C and vitamin A in particular. And make right. sure it's in enough doses. That's another little trick in the skincare world. Is oh my say, gosh. Right? Yeah. They'll say, oh, we have vitamin C. How much? Oh, well, they don't tell you that. Yeah. yeah. And that's there, and, and most you know over the counter vitamin C's are so unstable. Unstable. I mean, you know, oh, retinoids. So they'll put bad. retinoids in. You'll see retinol in and like yeah. spec or something. Yeah. I want to consider myself an, I'm an advocate. That's how I look at myself. I'm an advocate for people's skin. When I talk about the problems with sun uh, uh, sunscreens, I'm talking to you and telling you this because I know people are slathering the stuff on their skin. And I know when I was in the pharmacy and I was making sunscreen products that had prescriptions, they would have a skull and crossbones on them. Mm -hmm. And I'm be like, what the heck? You're like, people gonna, are putting this on their face? On their right. Yeah. Or when I went into the preservatives when I was oh farming, my gosh, yeah. I'd wear gloves and I'd wear masks. Yeah. And, and we put this thing on our skin all the time. And they say, well, it's just a tiny little bit. Mm -hmm. Well, what about after 10 years of Every day, every day and day? night, or this, yeah, exactly. There's measurable amounts of preservatives in breast cancer tumors. Mm -hmm. When they look at the tumor cells, they see preservatives exactly. from skincare products. Yeah. So there's measurable amounts of these toxins that are showing up in our body. Which they're is, getting in. Yeah. Of course, if you do something over and over yeah. and over again on the skin, eventually something's going to leak in. Mm -hmm. So there's these strategies that we we apply in skincare that have been grandfathered in because for generations we've been using them. The, I have, the skincare product that we use today, the modern skincare product, mm -hmm. was invented. Uh, uh, developed, I'll say, by uh, Helena Rubinstein and her team. You ever hear of Helena mm -hmm. Rubinstein? Yeah, yeah, from right? you, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but in the 1880s, yeah. and we're still doing it today. Mm -hmm. Even though we know so much more about what the skin is, what cells are, how you drive collagen production, how you make cells, how make cells do things, but because we don't make buying decisions based on uh, uh, science, we make buying decisions based on what we heard or what we read or what our friends are telling right. us, or superficial reasons, and, uh, and this is another thing. We make buying decisions based on how something feels. When oh my gosh, I hear that all the time. Feels oh, really nice. It felt felt make really my skin nice. feels so soft. I'm like, yeah, well, go get really? mayonnaise. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Put mayonnaise yeah. on your face or something. Right. Yourself. That, it's that's so the movie funny. Rise. I hear that. I hear that from people sometimes, and I'm like, oh no. What, oh no, where do I begin? Yeah. <laughs> we want. The skin to feel nice, but that's the booby prize. Yeah, exactly. That's the that's not the that's going to come from healthy skin yes. anyway. And it's not it, you, exactly. You don't have to put mayonnaise no. on your skin to mm -hmm. make it soft. If you're making moisture factors, mm -hmm. and by the way, dry skin should never happen. Mm -hmm. Let's be clear about that. When I do my talks, I'll ask people, how many of you guys have dry skin? Almost everybody raises their hand. Really? Wow. Almost everybody, and that's despite. The fact that we sell $180 million a year in moisturizing right. products, yeah. and everybody has dry skin. Mm -hmm. what, where's the disconnect here? Obviously, it's not working. What you got to do is you got to figure out a way to make moisture factors. This is how you moisturize the skin. You make moisture factors. How do you make moisture factors? Signaling molecules. Mm -hmm. Where do you get signaling molecules? Foods and topical vitamin A, topical yeah. vitamin C, and alpha hydroxy acids, and minerals, and a few other things. Everything else, even if it makes your skin look uh, feel really nice after you put it on, that's the booby prize. Mm -hmm. It's temporary. It's temporary. Yeah. So this is my favorite of all my truth treats. I formulate thousands of products. Mm -hmm. Probably, I don't know, two, three thousand products since I was in my twenties. Of all the products I formulated, That's this is favorite? my favorite is product. Is it really? And when we make this, I go down uh, in the lab and I just mm -hmm. I just smell it and I look at <laughs> it. And I like this. My favorite product. Why? Because it's so multifunctional. Yeah, it's it so multifunctional that I can't even tell people. I, I feel silly telling people about this because it sounds like it's a snake oil. Yeah, it sounds so like it really does all it that. It really does all that, exactly. Yes, yeah. it really does all yeah. that. This is for your baby's diaper rash, it's for uh, sunburn, it's for wrinkles and hyperpigmentation, lips, it's for moisture, it's right for lips, lips. Yeah. it's for everything. This I created for a guy who had uh, severe burns. He was a helicopter pilot. Did I ever tell you this story? Yeah. And he crashed into a forest fire and I had to figure out a way to get him some vitamin C and I created this. And I almost, it was almost like, I didn't realize it was going to be that powerful, but it worked really well for him. His insurance company ended up paying for it, and I just turned it into a, an over-the-counter product. And I say it's my favorite because I'm a minimalist. I'm a guy, hmm. and I like to have products that do lots of different things. Yeah. All my products are first aid products yeah. in the sense that they will accelerate healing. Not first aid products like a drug or like, a, like Neosporin, but first aid products like their nutrition for healing the skin. So you can use all my products on cuts, on burns, on sunburn, on, you know. And like, it's and like we talked about before, if you put a skincare product on and it can heal a wound. It's going to beautify. That's a working yes. skincare product. Yes. You always want your skincare products to work for you. There's that's so right. many, you could slap on so many skincare products on a cut, a wound. It's not going to do that's anything. Right. And you, that's, that's right. how you, it's not that's a working it, right. skincare product. 
that's what I say. I'm a pharmacist, right? Mm -hmm. And these were born in a wound healing pharmacy. When somebody came in with a wound, when somebody, a parent came in and their child had a severe burn, I couldn't say, well, Cindy Crawford likes this. Right. Or, you know, or this smells really good. Right. Or look how beautiful it is. It's, I had to make something that was going to take care of that client's skin. I had to make something that worked. Mm -hmm. Pharmacy is about work. Mm -hmm. What you just said, you said you want your skincare products it's like to work. You, that's right? what I always tell them. I'm like, you need skincare products that are actually working. working. Yes. Work. Yes. That's the operative word, exactly. right? Exactly. Work. It has to work. So Mega 6 Healing Cream is my favorite of all my products because it works on so many things mm -hmm. and it works so fast and it works so well. And yeah. because I'm a guy, I like multifunction. Right, it does a lot. It more. does a lot yeah. in one jar, exactly. Yeah. And it's, this has got a very specialized form of vitamin C. You know, the, well, I always use fatty vitamin C. Right. But the fatty vitamin C in this product um, is a heavy fatty vitamin C. Mm -hmm. It's more occlusive. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't have the same kind of penetrating property that the transdermal C serum does or right. vitamin C. That's does. amazing at night. That and is a night treat. Amazing right, at night. Right, yeah. right, right. On your yep. feet. Have you used it on your feet? No. Try it yeah. on your feet. I've used it on my lips. Yeah. I coat myself. It's yeah. amazing. It, it coating yourself. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I know. This is a beautiful... Uh, this, yeah. is my, this is my favorite product of all the products I developed. Yeah. And then I also... I have a couple other products that are on the way. Everybody's asking for new products. And... Uh, one, did I ever give you my body wash, my exfoliating body wash? I should probably no. say this. <laughs> no, but we want to hear. hear. <laughs> that's one we that I invented that. for me. Okay. That's one, because I, I wanted right. to have, being a guy, I wanted to have a multi-purpose cleanser that will, I, I shouldn't even talk about it. Why not? Tell us. <laughs> give us the hint. Come on. Yeah, because I'm going to write letters. And when's yeah. It when's it coming out? Okay, well, we know it's coming. We know. It's a low pH exfoliating cleanser okay. that I've been using myself for 30 years. That sounds amazing. It uh, exfoliates from head. In the shower, you can exfoliate head to toe. Right. We all know about exfoliating and removing dead cells from the surface on your face. Right. But legs, feet, knees, butt, back, mm -hmm. everything, exfoliation is a great thing to do. Exfoliating shower, uh, alpha, it's an alpha hydroxy acid shower gel. It okay. also cuts through conditioner. Acid cuts through conditioner. So you can use it once a month or okay. twice a month to cut through conditioner. And it's awesome to shave with. And it's awesome for back knee. Okay. And it's awesome for acne on the face. Right. So it's completely multifunctional. And oh, that's going to be amazing because I'm always I'm, looking for you, a good like, exfoliating body wash. I'm surprised yeah. I didn't say I didn't No. Say oh, you're going to love it. Okay, okay. awesome. I'm okay. super excited about that. Yeah. Okay. So new products are nah, coming. New products, new products are coming. Don't make me tell you anymore. No more. Okay. You can tell me later. Okay, Ever. Yeah. <laughs> well, sounds good, Ben. Awesome. Thank you so much for so hanging nice out with to us you. today. Yes. He'll be back again. But all of the truth treatment products are available at premierlook.com. So I'm going to link them all down below. His products are amazing. I mean, just, I mean, they speak for themselves. You try them you. and you use them and you're going to see exactly why. I mean, they're working skincare products. Thank it's, you. Yeah, they're amazing. So anyway, I will leave all that information down below. Again, thank you so much, Ben Fuchs. Thank you so much. And I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.